Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here, back again with another tool review video for you. We do these uh, every other week, and today I have something rather unique and special for you. Today I have what is called the Tight Reach Extension Wrench. Um, this is uh, kind of an interesting thing. I have, I have two uh, different versions here. I have a 3 8 version, and I have a quarter inch version. And what these do is they basically extend the reach of your existing tools. Uh, so if you've got like, uh, well, you're, you're working on something in a very tight, confined space, you might want to pull this out and use this. And, and what it does is it, it extends your reach and extends your ability to uh, get into those hard to reach areas. We're going to do a quick unboxing and then I'm going to go to uh, my new 1993 Acura Vigor that's here behind me and see how well it can get it down into those tight areas. I have. Uh, the Acura Vigor is, is really famous for having those kind of things, so I think it's a perfect opportunity to give these a try. But uh, we'll just do a quick unboxing here. A um, bunch of instructions and things on the back uh, for them. As I said, I have both the 3 8 and the quarter inch. Why don't we start with a quarter inch since that one's a little bit more simple. Uh, you can just basically take it out of its package and there's a small little extension there uh, that you can put into the assembly, but when you turn one side, the other side moves. So that's, that's kind of a unique, unique feature of the tool is that if you're working with one side, you can, you know, make it go, make the other side work. This is the quarter inch one and it uh, quite simply just comes with the one extension. Now let's take a look at the three eighths here. Uh, I'm going to open it up in the same way. This one comes with a few more attachments. Uh, looks like we have one that's a 3 8 to 3 8 This one looks like a 3 8 to half inch extension that we have here. And it works the same as the other one. It looks like I can turn it in either direction, at least to some extent. There we go. It doesn't list the country of origin where these are made. It just says made in PRC, and I'm not really sure what that means uh, other than I suspect it's People's Republic of China. But we will give it a whirl and see how well it works. Now something interesting about this 3 8 version is that according to the packaging it can take up to 400 pounds of torque which means uh, you may not necessarily have to use your hand tools with these. I actually asked the uh, the people at Tight Reach about this and they said yes I can use impact tools it will handle most electric impact tools uh, within reason. So this can extend your power tools uh, in the sense that making not only easier to get to things, but also much quicker. Why don't we take it over to the car and give these things a try and see how well they, how well they hold up and how well they do what they say they're supposed to do. Right, now I've done a little bit of pre-preparation here. What I'm trying to do is there's a heat shield that goes above the exhaust manifold. I suspect that there's a crack in that exhaust manifold and I want to get a look at it. I've already removed the upper fasteners which are somewhat easy to access up here. So I was able to remove those. But there is yet another fastener further down that I would like to remove. And you can see it right there. So it's kind of a perfect candidate to use for this. Now normally that fastener is a 12 millimeter. Uh, unfortunately, in this case, it is uh, rusted away and I'm able to get an 11 millimeter on it. So this is what I've done. Is I have my tool set up with my 11 millimeter socket and the little uh, 3 8 extender that they have here. And I'm going to put this down inside there and I'm going to uh, see if I can uh, break it loose and get it, uh, get it out of there with the tight reach tool. Just going to use this pry bar to try and push it on there a little more. All right. This 
is kind of cool. I'm ratcheting up here, yet it's moving down there. That's, that's different. And there it is. It got it out. Fantastic. Let's remove that shield and look at that exhaust manifold. Well, I'm not seeing the black soot like I thought I would see down in this area, but I really should remove that other, other shield to find out for sure. I'm not gonna do that just yet, but why don't we, since uh, these manifold bolts are, I think, perfect candidates to see if we can use the impact uh, to get these off. Why don't we give that a try and put the tool through its paces a little bit more. Okay, I have put a 12 millimeter impact socket on the end with the extension. This is once again the 3 8 uh, version. And I'm just gonna try to reach down in here with uh, the tool. And since I don't have a whole lot of access on this side, I'm gonna try to hit it uh, up here with the 3 8 impact just to see if it will uh, come loose. Here goes nothing. The impact part isn't working so well. Let's see if we can break it loose and then see if we can transfer the force. All right, I'm just gonna try knocking it loose with my 3 8 ratchet just to break it loose first. And then we'll see if we can uh, remove it after that. All right, now we've broken it loose. Okay, here goes nothing. Okay, color me silly, but uh, it looks like I've just discovered something about the tool. And that is, the tool could have broken that loose, and I'm gonna go to the next fastener to show that. But it appears, when you're on the same side like I was here, that the fastener is gonna turn in the opposite direction. So what I was actually doing there was tightening, not loosening. So that wasn't the fault of the tool, that was the fault of me. So why don't we try it on the next one to see if we can uh, knock it loose without having to uh, break it loose with the uh, ratchet first. Here goes. Yeah, that one's a little, little more difficult. That still is a unique ability to be able to get into a place and use an impact like that. So you might have to break things loose to start with, but once they're broken loose, they uh, should come right off. Let's wrap this up. All right, now I'm aware that I did not necessarily use the quarter inch version today, but it works in exactly the same way. It is something to get used to. I'm, I'm not used to using a tool like this, but I imagine with a little bit of time, a little bit of practice, I, I could definitely have it down. Uh, one, one issue that I kind of foresee is uh, maybe losing these little uh, adapters here. So you gotta try to keep those together. I've, I've found that you can keep the tool together this way by putting them all in. But uh, I, I think there's also a 3 8 to quarter inch, I'm not sure, adapter that might be available. Uh, it's not in this, in this particular kit, but it does have plenty. And uh, like I said, we have the uh, 3 8 to half inch here as well. But all in all, this, uh, this is an interesting tool. I mean, it's not, it's not something I necessarily considered to start with but it, it does present a unique solution to some of the problems you run into when you are repairing a vehicle, is that there's just some areas that are just extremely difficult to access. So you end up sitting there trying to you know, work it with a wrench a little bit at a time, 
This helps solve that problem. Also gives you the ability to use your impact tools. Now, albeit it doesn't necessarily transfer all the force, some of the force is lost through the tool uh, when you're doing that. But to be fair, I have my air compressor off because I didn't want it kicking on for, you know, during the video. Uh, so I probably ran my air pressure low and was not able to transfer enough force. However, if you just break it loose, you can go back in there with the impact and make quick work of the rest of it. So it's, it's, not, it's, it's not a useless tool by any stretch. I, in fact, I, I see more and more potential with it the more I get a chance to use it. But for this, the purposes of this review, this is what we did. Now, as far as pricing goes, I'm going to post that right down in the description. Sometimes the pricing on these things changes. Uh, so I'm just going to do it that way. But along with that price, I will put a link in the description to these tools uh, so that you can go and check them out for yourself. But these are tight reach wrenches and a unique solution to a common problem you run into when you are you know, doing service and repair work. I hope you enjoyed this tool review. I thank you for watching. And if you have automotive questions, I would ask that you head over to ericthecarguy.com. There's a welcome video there to tell you about all the wonderful things that we have uh, to help you find solution to any automotive issues that you might have. In addition to that, we have a tools page where if you want to browse some tools, you can, you can go and do that. If you wish to connect with me socially, I can be found on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. And I close each of my videos with be safe, have fun, stay dirty, and don't forget to play with your tools. I'll see you next time.